OpenAI had released GPT-4 Omni, which is their new flagship model that can reason across audio, vision and text in real time. It is available on ChatGPT for free and you can test it out. So I thought I will try out some use cases. Um, so when you log into ChatGPT, it actually asks you whether you want to upgrade to ChatGPT 4o, whether you want to use that model. I said yes. And then you get this option of uploading a image. The thing is that on any day I could upload two or three images more than that. It gave me this message saying that you have reached your file upload limit and upgrade to chat GPT plus to try again later. So I have tried many use cases across a couple of days and then I've created this video. So the first use case is you give an image as an input and you say that generate five multiple choice questions and at least four choices for each question and the correct choice as well. So this is about uploading an image to GPT 4o and asking it to generate questions and answers based on that image kind of visual question answering. Uh, so over here I've loaded uploaded this image and I've asked this particular uh, five MCQ questions and four choices. So it kind of generates these, you know, it says this image is an image of support vector machine classification, which is correct. And then it creates various questions like this. What is the main objective of support vector machine gives the options and gives the correct option as an answer, right? Uh, so it generates five questions over here. And if you look at, uh, uh, you know, it has done a very good job over here with respect to the question. For example, what does the term margin refer to in SVM? It says these are the various choices, the width of the area that separates the classes, the distance between the support vectors and the hyperplane distance between positive and negative hyperplanes, the distance between hyperplane and the farthest data point. The correct answer is the distance between the positive and negative hyperplanes. So it gives that. So this is one use case where you can actually upload an image and you can ask it to generate questions. The other way around, you can also upload an image and then ask it to actually explain the math attached in the picture or explain that particular image. So here I've uploaded the same image and then I asked like explain the math in the attached picture. So it, it says that this illustrates the concept of a support vector machine, which is a supervised machine learning model. And then it starts explaining like, what are these green circles? What are these diamond points? You know, what are the axes over here? Uh, so green circles represent one class of data points, represents the other class of data points. What are the axes, which is uh, the two features or dimensions in the data. Each point is represented by the pair x1, x2, what are hyperplanes, explains the entire concept along with the math over here. Right? So it gives a very nice explanation, I would say, over here. So this is the use case where you want to give a picture and learn something about that. Okay. Then I tried to give another image of an Indian meal. Right? And then I said, can you calculate the calories? I wanted to see whether it identifies the vegetables, the rice and other things over here. So it says that there are mixed vegetables present, possibly pumpkin, beans, carrot and other vegetables, which is quite accurate over here. All right. Uh, in a curry or stew, red rice is there, paneer is there. And it says, let's break the components. It looks like an approximate quantity of one cup of these vegetables. So it could be 80 calories per cup. Red rice looks like half cup, which is like 100 grams. So this is the calories. Paneer it has identified, say, uh, you know, assuming around 50 grams of paneer, uh, you know, this is 130 calories per 50 grams and it, it gives the total calories over here. Now, what if I ask over here, what is the protein content? I don't know whether it will be able to do it, but let's check it out. Uh, what I've seen is that it typically generates much faster than ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. Uh, now it is actually trying to do that computation. Mixed vegetables, the protein content in mixed vegetables can vary, but a rough average is something. Okay, 4 grams of proteins. Fine. And red rice, it does some calculation again. Half cup red uh, rice has around, what, maybe 5 grams or 10 grams of protein. I'm not sure of it or 2.5 grams, even lesser, fine. And then paneer four cubes, around 50 grams of paneer. Uh, yeah, you get around nine grams of protein. Yeah, so it computes it and says that, yeah, total uh, four plus uh, 2.5, 6.5 plus nine, 15.5 grams of protein. Let's see whether it does the addition properly. 
Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, in this way you can compute calories of your meals. These are approximate computations, but you can create apps around this, right? If you are able to estimate the quantity properly and other things. Okay, probably it is not accounted for the dal and other proteins over here, right? But this is the idea. Then I gave it an input of a handwritten medical prescription and then I said like, can you decipher the attached image? It says, yeah, it looks at this particular initial, let me zoom in over here. It says about these things, you know, uh, what is, what are these things which are present over here? Then it goes into the handwritten content and it says that yeah, name and other things are redacted, obviously. And then what vitals not filled, uh, the pain score not filled, all these things are not filled. Then it says chief complaint, uh, BL knee pain, left uh, greater than right, bilateral knee pain, left uh, greater than right, which is exactly what is written over here. Bilateral knee pain, left greater than right, aggravated since once, one year, difficulty in ADL. Now let's look at what does ADL mean, activities of daily living. Uh, diabetes is present, hypertension is present, so it has detected that properly as well. And it says examination over here. What is the examination? It says BL knee, bilateral knee, varus deformity. Uh, that is what is present over here. And then it uh, explains about, you know, what is the this thing? What is the condition? The range of motion is uh, there is an issue, painful terminally. What is tender uh, this thing? Uh, X ray knee, what was the investigations done? And it shows uh, osteoarthritis previous x-ray which was done it shows that uh, the x-ray is one year old i don't know whether that is covered over here so this is what it is and it gives an explanation chief complaints are this physical examination is this and investigations was this this suggests that the patient is experiencing significant knee pain likely due to advanced osteoarthritis and it gives that this thing with additional concerns including diabetes and hypertension the doctor has noted the key findings from the physical exam and plan and results to plan further engagement so it could do a very good job of ocr on handwritten data over here so you can think of developing applications like this where we need to do ocr on handwritten data so you can use gpt 40 for that okay and uh, this can be applied in the medical domain but then it needs to go through a thorough round of validation and verification and all those stuff but yes you can do ocr and extract information from images using GPT-4. Oh, it does OCR internally. That's what it looks like. Okay. Then, uh, you know, here is another example of a restaurant picture, right? I took this picture and I asked like, what is the price of Idli? So if you look at over here, there is Rava Idli 64.35 and it says, yes, the menu, the price of this uh, Idli on the menu is 64.75. I, I then asked to be specific, what are the items present in this list and what is this picture about? It says shows a menu from the restaurant. The items are various South Indian dishes, accurately identified beverages and gives a list of all the items which are present. Again, OCR over here on this particular handwritten data. And this is a challenging image because of glare and all those stuff which is present over here. Still, it does a decent job on this particular image, right? Then I gave an another use case of, you know, uh, particular uh, use case of, uh, the image of a cycle and then I ask like how do I raise the seat height and then it explains the various steps over here look at the seat post clamp loosen the clamp adjust the seat height tighten the clamp check the height and do all those things so it is actually done a good job I tried with another image over here uh, you know this is an image of a tablet right and I, I'm asking like what is this image about it's a composition of the ingredients of the tablet and here it for some reason it did not work and it said that this image is not supported format but previously in gpt4 vision i could get this image running so i'm not sure what is happening over here so sometimes it throws up this error of you know the image not being compatible the format okay then this is the last one which i tried where i just gave a youtube screenshot and i asked like what is this image about again handwritten data it says this is a teaching aid for explaining the n queens problem using a state space tree approach classic puzzle and uh, it talks about the state space tree the board representation the state space tree right uh, column representation permutation calculation it tries to explain the n queen problems how to place it without using a structured tree approach basically placing n queens on the board without conflicts okay 
so these were some of the use cases which i tried with gpt4 oh uh, performance is quite good in my limited testing uh, if you are working on a use case you need to probably do an extensive testing on your data set uh, to make use of it but the results look quite promising it uh, generates the result quite fast compared to gpt 3.5 turbo in my experience so you can also go and try out uh, your use cases on chat gpt uh, i just listed some of the use cases over here i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video